In this video, I'm going to provide an overview of the Cumulus Workflow Builder, the system that provides the logic and framework to how your site's Cumulus mobile application and control center will function. Let's dive right in. As you can see, my current workflow builder already has several types of work completion activities present. For today's demonstration, I'll be making edits to our flange completion workflow so that you can see how the system works. Each of these columns represents a stage that will be completed in either the Cumulus mobile app or control center, and also shows the relevant steps that must be taken to complete that stage of work. The first stage in the flange completion workflow is to tag the flange. And the operation inside of that stage is record connection tag, an action where mobile app users scan and record a QR code for an individual flange connection to enable the ability to later recall that information quickly and accurately by again scanning that unique QR code. We will leave this stage as it is and move on to the next stage, breakdown. As this is an industrial facility that utilizes the site for operations and maintenance, the next stage in this process is breakdown. We can see the operations in this step are to take two photos, review those photos, and there is one checklist question. If desired, we could remove these steps by selecting each of them and choosing the delete action button. Or we could configure the action labels by modifying the text we see before us. We'll be adding two checklist questions to the current list. First, we'll be adding a Boolean question asking, is there any remnant process in the line? We'll select the question type, again, as Boolean, and we'll provide a correct answer of no. If any questions are answered opposite of how the workflow builder designated, the system will issue a notification within the control center to approved personnel. The next stage in the workflow is assemble. This takes us into our next stage where the Titanic activities will take place. We can see we begin with a tool selection, then we move on into the different tightening steps. Each of these tightening steps is entirely configurable here within the workflow builder, allowing us to set the target percentage of the overall torque value for this pass, the tightening pattern that is to be used, the label of the action button within the mobile application, as well as some additional options, including the enablement of a check pass. I will add the requirement to take a photo after completing the work activity, asking the users to take a photo of the completed joint. We will not allow this step to be skippable, forcing the users to take at least one photo. We can mandate the number of required pictures here in the review photo step. As this is the last step in this stage, I will label the action button as complete. If at any point in the process, the site wanted to impose a hold point or an in-process inspection step that requires proper approvals to proceed beyond, that can be configured by selecting the appropriate stage, scrolling to the bottom of the page, and selecting the hold point that is desired. Here, I will set a QA review to be performed during the assembly step, anytime the flange connection is designated as being in cryogenic service. The remaining two stages in this workflow are the QC and QA checks. These stages will complete the flange completion workflow as well as populate the Deliverable Completion Report, or ITR, with the respective QC or QA person's name and the date of the inspections. You have now learned a bit about how it is that the Cumulus Workflow Builder operates. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to reach out at info at cumulusds.com. Thanks for watching.